Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from AVG Technologies. This is an AVG Academy video, and today we're going to install AVG Web TuneUp and take a look at some of the things it offers you. So we're going to start by going to avg.com and downloading AVG Web TuneUp. So come to the website, you'll see under PC we have AVG Web TuneUp. And download from the big green button on the page. Go to the download directory and run the AVG Web TuneUp XE. There's a number of screens that we go through that Windows requires us to confirm we want, wish to run the, the file. It's saying welcome to AVG Web TuneUp. Uh, there's some options here. I'd suggest you read the options and make sure you're comfortable with what's being installed. Uh, you're also agreeing to the EULA and privacy policy. Again, if you wish to read those, do so now. And I'm going to click on Install. Uh, it's asking me to close my browser. Super important here. If you have work already open in the browser, make sure you've closed that work. Make sure you're happy and uh, close those down. And the installation has started. Let me close that. So as you can see, the installation is now complete. So I'll just click on the Finish button. Now when we go back into our browser, it's going to ask us to confirm uh, whether we want to allow AVG Web TuneUp to be installed in the browser. So I'm going to say yes, obviously. Now this prompt may look different depending on which browser you're running. Uh, but they all give you some type of, uh, type of prompt to do this. And Firefox needs to restart to actually see the application. So now, we, now we're in Firefox. Uh, you can see AVG Web TuneUp is in here, in the, uh, the address bar up here. Uh, and I can see that it has a number of different things. So I'm going to close the, the tutorial and take you straight into the application. So here we have site safety, and site safety lets me see whether a site I'm visiting is safe, uh, and also some uh, additional details about it. So let's go to a, a favorite website of mine. Uh, we're going to go to GoPro. What I can actually do is click here, go into site safety, and if I click on the more link, I can see a lot more details about the website that I'm actually on. So as you can see, on the first page of the site safety screen, uh, you can already see that this web page is safe. Uh, if it was risky, the arrow would be here, or if it was dangerous, the arrow would be here. Then we can go off and look at more details about the web page. So you can see this, uh, the IP address of the website. It's very popular where it's, uh, where it's located. I can, of course, click on the full report here, which will open the AVG Threat Labs website and give me a much, much more detailed uh, view of that site. Also, that it's safe for browsing. So the next thing I want to show you is AVG Do Not Track, which is an integral part of AVG Web TuneUp. And as you can see, if I click on here, we are protected. Now, what does it actually mean? Do Not Track is, a, is an initiative that means we want to control who's tracking us when we visit websites. You know sometimes how you see those ads on one website from something you were searching from earlier on? Well, how do they do that, and how do I stop that? So that it, what I see is in context. Well, I can click on more, and as you can see, I can see ad networks that are being blocked, and I can see ad networks that are being allowed. Because not all ad networks are actually bad. Uh, it just depends on what their sharing policy is, or how they're collecting data. Um, and as you can see, there's a mix here, and I can choose to turn these on or off. So for example, you know, I could put crowd science back on, I could put take crowd science back off. If I go all the way down, you'll also see social buttons. We're allowing social buttons and also web analytics. You know, most of these, a lot of these things would uh, are normal web experience, but again, you can make a, a conscious decision as a consumer here what you're going to allow to track you and what you're not going to allow to track you. If I look at the final part of AVG Web TuneUp, uh, browser cleaner, what this allows me to do is manage everything on my machine that's being cached or temporarily put there by web pages. So for example, I've got 274 cookies on my machine. A cookie is a piece of code that's put on the machine by a website that stores things like language, or it stores what I put into the shopping cart but maybe didn't complete. So the next time I come back, all those preferences are stored somewhere and makes it easier for me to, to browse that web page again. I have website browsing history. I also have things I've downloaded. 
Uh, and the thing I downloaded, of course, is, is AVG Web Tune-Up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean now. And as you can see, it's cleaning up the cookies, cleaning up my browsing history and the files that I've downloaded. So the last thing I want to show you is the, is the settings. So here in the settings on that little wheel, we can also turn off any of those major components. So site safety, do not track, browser cleaner, all the notifications you're going to get from AVG Web Tune-Up. Uh, all here on one, or you can restore the defaults. Congratulations, you've now installed AVG Web Tune-Up. This was an AVG Academy video. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you next time.